Hey everybody, my name is Gunner, welcome back from the video of Humankind. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Having a lot of fun playing this game for you. It's a really fantastic game, obviously. I, I really enjoyed playing it the first time around with our first Let's Play. I just didn't know how to properly play it. Now that I actually know how to properly pay, play it, on top of having all the mods to help me out and stuff, I'm having a lot of fun, boys. Now, we do have one too many cities. Because we took over Nock, but I don't really care too much about that. I think we're going to be fine with Nock. I think it is uh, that is just meant to uh, to give us basically the amount of cities we can build, but we can get more than that if we just like take them over and stuff. So uh, first thing first, as you can see, we are going to need like an outpost over here to connect. So this is going to be our next action. Obviously, we're going to end the turn right here, but. Our next app move is definitely going to be to use these influence points and get ourselves an outpost right here to connect it to Nock. We got a population, so our first population in Nock. Uh, second population as well, it looks like two of them. Actually, or maybe just one, I guess. A new wonder can be claimed, doesn't matter. Army lost at sea. Uh, oh, we can lose our, uh, uh, our army if we're not careful at sea. Okay, so that might be my, uh, my fleet boys. Doesn't matter too much. So we got one extra populist right here. If I get him rid of him, yeah, I don't really need him that much in the food production. Let's put in a science, just like that, boys. Also, we are working quite currently on the research quarters because we don't have anything else to build on or to build right here. So we're pretty, we're doing all right. Over here, this is the army we're going to be using. We actually are going to heal them up because they do need to he be healed up. Uh, these guys, I guess they spawned us directly right here. So we're just going to keep moving. See, this is a blue border right here. This is another civilization I haven't uncovered yet. I'm just waiting to uncover them. Uh, it's not happening yet. It hasn't happened yet. But uh, I know for a fact we're going to be able to do that. Uh, over here, they're still building on their stuff. I mean, we got 19 population in Kurma, boys. That is a lot. It's a lot of populace. Most of them are all in food pr uh, production. We are struggling in food just because we have too many p people working on it and stuff. Or working uh, in the city or living in there. That is something we gotta watch out for. Uh, I wish we could do immigration. So we can emigrate the people that are in our capital all the way to other cities like Nock, for example. That needs those types of people. So we don't have anything else i am gonna obviously do procession right here we're gonna need that because look at that the stability is going down actually so we don't want that to happen former squadron is still being built so everything's being built only thing i, I need to do is um work on these two people we're gonna uh, connect these two uh, together so let's just connect these two together i guess let's put this guy right here and we are gonna connect these two there we go Get a, a full army going, boys. So now we've got our full army. Uh, good and done with. I can probably go into the shores, right? I can go into the sea. Yes, I could. Do I want to do that just yet, though? I want to... Before I uh, I go into the new lands, I kind of want to... Like, I know I'm going to go here with my other army in order to get an outpost right here. So I kind of want to get myself... Uh, make sure that... I got, an, I got an outpost everywhere, you know. I got to make sure that that is the case. I don't have any outposts here. That is not a thing. There's nothing here. There's nothing here either and nothing here. There's like three ter different, uh, three or four different territories. We don't have anything whatsoever. We should start working on another city right here. When we get the chance, get another city. I don't know. Maybe right here and get an outpost between them, you know. that That is something we should be doing. Um, I, I'm feeling like so maybe we should do that at least create a bunch of outposts so you know we're gonna send this guy right here we're gonna start creating a bunch of outposts uh, I guess you can start moving from one tile to another one uh, slow at a time our faith we are gonna be able to get something out of our faith soon enough boys in the next turn we are gonna be done with imperial power she's gonna give us all sorts of all kinds of uh, good uh, um, good uh, stuff, I guess, that we're going to be able to use. I don't know what I'm uh, going to do with it, but uh, we do have Imperial Power now. 
and we've got relocate capital so we can choose a new capital from now on we can also have common uh, common squatter which uh, just uh, another um, basically another civic or another uh, civic but other districts we can build so that we get more uh, influence and a, com a custom uh, customs farm but for that I need some horses and iron which I do not have any of those resources I got uh, plus 50 fame out of that look at all that fame though uh, the second civilization which we don't know anything about is uh, the uh, going into the medieval era soon I believe I believe they're going to the medieval uh, era uh, Kermak gained some population Last I see uh, units destroyed. Oh shit, that's not good. I just lost my fleet, boys. I did to change. Uh, the Morions are afraid of me for some reason. I just lost my fleet. That is not good. That's just not a good thing, boys. Losing my fleet like that was a pretty stupid mistake on my part. Uh, that should not have happened at all. Alright, let's, uh, let's go back with this army right here, boys. We want to send them there. So that we can uh, create an outpost and, st uh, and stuff. It, yeah, this is not a good thing. Uh, Kerma got an extra populace, another at 20. We got somebody in industry for now, but I can't put anybody in the food. There's just too many people at this point. Too many people in this goddamn city. We'll put one more into the science department. We definitely need to work on the procession because we're dropping very low on the stability uh, side of things. We can also get Quamers farther now. I don't know what it gives us. Is it a limited thing like the other thing that we uh, built? Like the special uh, money things? It might be, right? I'm not sure if I should build that or not. I could literally spend all 20 of my populace, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just spend some money right here. Let's just get the farmer squad right away. I kind of want to do a test really quick just to see if it's going to work out or not. Let's put it right there. That's where they want us to put it. There we go. Let's put a Quamers for a uh, quarter right here. That gives us a lot of influence. Anywhere else do one, uh, you want us to put it? I'm guessing right here. Right here would be a good idea. So, all right, there we go. So Quamers quarter is just the same. It's just another district we can build over time. All right, I got you. So we can always look at that as well. But I don't need any influence. That's the thing, I really don't need any influence. It does give us stability though. So if we need that, you know, if we want to get more influence overall by, uh, by that and more, I guess, stability overall, that's something we can look at. So it looks like right now we're doing fine. So do I want to go for food? Obviously, yes. This is the main thing we want to go for all the time. Let's put a, a food tile right here, uh, a food production right here. Uh, and the rest, I can't do anything with that. If I go into the others, like Nepada, for example, it's got 16 population. We can put one of them uh, into something else, I believe. Let's put it into science, max it out. There we go. It would need some common, uh, common squatter for sure. So that is something we, uh, we want to look at. Uh, this guy has a 2p population in uh, industry, which we don't want that right now. Definitely want these guys to be in uh, in the food production instead. Industry doesn't matter at all. So you keep going. You keep doing your thing, buddy. There we go. We're going to get that done. And for the next part, knock. Knock is, seems like it's doing fine by uh, for me. It does have an extra populace. Let's put it in science as well. All right. That is done. Uh, brand new things, I guess. First off, for the research, we're gonna go for foreign outposts. It's the closest one we got so far. It's gonna give us some quadrarem and also uh, interpreters. So minus 10% on all resources money cost while buying um, buying some stuff. That, that's really good. I like that. I like that quite a lot. That's a really good ability. And uh, for my unit, extra unit right here. I'm still healing him. Oh, yeah, so I'm still in the process of healing him. Uh, for the religion itself, we've got a brand new tenet that we can use. So let's see right here. Brand new tenet, boys. Time to choose a new one. What do we want? So this is going to give us influence, it looks like. Money, science, stability. Plus five stability on garrisons. Foods, uh, plus five foods on arbor would be really good. 
War support, I really don't care. That gives, it gives us even more money. I don't really need money. It's not a problem right now. Uh, five of science. Could be decent, but I don't really need it. It's either stability or food. Uh, last time I went for... I went for the stability last time. Might go for the same thing again. Protect the weak, boys. I'm going to go for the same, uh, same thing again. There we go. We need as much stability as possible within our stuff. So... There we go. So that's uh, what we uh, chose right here. Uh, next up. Okay, there we go. New tenant for Nubians. Shamanism. Gotta uh, protect the weak. That's our new uh, thing. After that, uh, I guess I could start building as well. Because I've got a lot of people uh, over Kerma. I can also, now to think about it, get rid of that. We can start working on stone rings as well. We should definitely work on that. Stone rings. Where do we want to put those? We've got some of them in these regions right here, right? We got uh, we got one right here. Do do we want to put another one in the same place? Feel like we should put it in a different place though. But because it is, uh, we are working on it on this city. I want to work it on the capital. Why not? Yeah, let's do it on the capital, and we're gonna put it somewhere where we can't really build anything. So let's put it right here. Right here, boys, and we're actually going to use all of our populace. Just because it's going to help us out, so why not? We got 20 populace. Let's put it all into um, the stone rings right here, boys. Let's do it. So we don't have any populace left. Everybody basically left the city. Uh, deserted the capital. But we do have the two stone rings uh, right here. So we got an extra stone ring. Uh, now we're, we're going to be having... We're going to have basically... We're producing a lot of food, so we're gonna have populace in no time over here. So that's not a worry. We don't need to worry about that, boys. Since we are producing food, I could always go for science now, I guess. That is the thing that I could go for. I guess the only place I can build that, though, would uh, be here. So let's build that. Let's build all cells. Let's research quarter over there. And uh, next thing, I actually, do I need... I don't need any stability or influence, so we're good. Okay. We're producing less influence though. I don't know if it has anything to do with the populace in a certain city or something. But for sure the next uh, option, once I'm done with that, uh, I'm going to be uh, going for... Actually, you know what? Well, I don't have any... Oh, that's right. I don't have any populace. So I can't... Okay, I can't um, get anybody. Okay, so we're going to rebuild the, our capital. Who else has a lot of populace? Nock has two populace right now. So that's that. Uh, Nepada, I think, is the strongest one after that. So we want to build. Definitely what we want to do here is build ourselves like a new navy and stuff. We want to build a new navy. So we can uh, definitely work on big time. You know, we can start exploring even more. We haven't explored. We explored a little bit the south. I really uh, never really explored the, the north right here. Which be would definitely be something to do. So... Uh, let's do just that. Let's let's just quickly build a farmer's quarter real quick. There we go. And we're just with that. We're just gonna spend money on a bunch of pentaconters. Uh, definitely gonna do that, boys. Pentaconters across the board. There we go. And uh, get ourselves a fourth one. All right. So now that that is done, we got our people. We got a enough food. Let's put all a, a lot of them into science. Let's put most of them into science. There we go. I got space for one more. So let's do that. Just that. Okay, there we go. So that is fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. And now what we want to go for is... Uh, we want to go for money or stability. Stability is kind of struggling a little bit. So maybe we need a little bit more stability right here. Let's get ourselves a Quamran Squadron, boys. Uh, they're telling me to go for this place right here, so let's do it. Let's uh, let's build a common squadron right here. All right, that's uh, that's about all I can do. With uh, these guys, we're gonna move them up next turn, and with these guys are still healing them. All right, let's uh, end the turn, boys. That was a long turn. The turn 50 was a really long turn. All right, so culture chosen. Uh, the Celts decided to be the Aztecs for the medieval era. And Kurma has gained a population, uh, uh, Nak as well, and Audagost as well. Okay, got you. 
So Nock uh, got a, himself a third uh, Populus. Really good for him. Happy for him. Uh, they, they directly put them into food, which is fine by me. That's perfect. Uh, you go ahead and do that. For uh, Kerma, it's got itself its first Populus as well. Let's put him all the way to science. Obviously, that's where we want to put him. And I'm guessing Audacost got himself as well another populace. Oh, three of them are in industry. If we do criminal slaves, one stability on uh, on on stability common squatter, we get plus one food and industry. Or on garrisons, we get uh, one industry and influence. A war slave, boys. We're doing war slaves, big time. Loot and property, there we go. So that's what we're going to do. Still human beings. And the next up, uh, it's going to take us a thousand points in order to enact another civic. It's going to take a while. It will take a while. Not that long, but still a couple of turns. Ne uh, next thing, what is that? We need to build, move uh, one of our uh, one of our units. I feel, I think, yes. We've got our unit right here, boys. Let's move him right here, yeah. Let's move in towards the roads. The road system, of course. And with him, we're going to create an outpost over here first. With that outpost, we're going to create uh, connect it to Nepada and all. And Nepada actually yeah, had an extra populous. That's for sure. We got max. We're maxed out in science. Let's put just put him in food then. We're not pack maxed out in food, so we've got uh, someone else that we can move apparently. Mm. Oh, that's the there. not someone we Shall can we move. It's just a diplomatic thing. This yeah, the Morians wanted to talk to make. us, so. They want us to have a trade everything agreement. Sure, let's let's accept it. I want to be friendly glorious, with them. Glorious. I do want to be friendly be with so. them. Now that does mean this though, export, uh, import. I, I do want to import, and uh, I did purchase some mercury relations. We could propose like some sort of alliance, open history. We could propose an alliance, but not yet, boys. Not yet. I don't know why they're afraid of me though. I, I really don't know why they are afraid of me. About your obvious strengths. Okay, it, it might be because we're stronger than them. That might be it. It's simply because we're stronger than them overall. So they're afraid that uh, we might try and attack them. It's not going to be the case. I'm not going to try and attack them. Era star. Alright, so we got another era star. One of the builder stars has been earned. Good. That means we're entering a brand new era, boys. I think they should be afraid then. I, how far are they? They are well below that. I think they are still in the classical era. I think they are still in the classic era, boys. Classical era. If that is the case, I'm going to be two eras above them now. Uh, Kerma gained uh, two populists. Really? That's a lot, boys. That's a lot. So they're now at three. Yeah, they're gaining a lot of populists fast. Uh, don't want anybody in the industry. Just put this guy into the science, please. There we go. Uh, that's fantastic. That's perfect. We don't have anything else. Uh, Audagast is finished with its production. Uh, I did say that... Oh, we got this actually. We can build a school. Let's build it right away. Quickly build it. There we go. So we got ourselves a school right here in Audagast. And with that... What is uh, what are the requirements for this? So this is flood irrigation. So I, we, we are never going to be able to build that. This cannot be built up until the contemporary era, though. So we can't build that uh, until we get to the next era or uh, a, a specific era, boy. So that we can't do. Okay. Well, I guess we're f we're doing fine in terms of of this. We're producing f 46 of influence compared to the 15 of food. We need food. This is the one that uh, uh, we're producing the less amount of. And also, let's put one over here. We're not, we need to use our districts more often in a proper way, boys. So let's do that. Um, for you right here, you're going to start moving up. So you're move, uh, moving towards that direction, actually. Yeah, move towards there. We are going to see where we want to, our outpost to be, kind of in the middle. Right, that would be the best option right here. Uh, this guy right here. The, my ships, I want them to move in the, the, in the deep sea. The deep sea is a dangerous one. This is the one that we need to be careful about. We don't want to lose them into the, on the sea like the others. 
Uh, this one, uh, we got an extra populace from him. We'll put it on food, boys. He needs that. Definitely needs that over there. And uh, I guess, yeah, I guess we're good. What, what the school? What is it about the school, though? Cannot be done until our early modern era, I guess. That's what they're telling me. Uh, Nock over here has a fourth population that uh, that it gained. Uh, Thirty over here. Thirty, thirty-four, and twenty-two. So we need populace for the food production. Actually, put one more, one more in food production. That's definitely where we want to work, focus on efforts on. And also, we also have our guys right here. They're finally going to be able to go somewhere with that. Uh, we actually have no districts over here as well. This is one of the areas where there's no districts. Let's go over there. Let's go over there, boys, actually. Oh, enter a new era. All right, so yeah, that, that's what they want us to do right now. So we're going to move out that unit right here, as you can see. Move him into these tiles first. We need to use an outpost. And we're actually going to connect that outpost to Kumbe. Yeah, Kumbe is going to be the one. Because we've got already... We're going to have a, uh, an outpost for Nepada. Right there, a second outpost. So uh, so I earned era, uh, seven era stars. Let's choose now our new era. Who are we going to be, boys? Who are we going to be in the modern era? Let's see. So we can still be these guys, the Ganyans. Or we can be the Dutch. The Dutch is still the money part. One, a plus one money per all populations on all cities. That is quite a lot. We can be the Adi Nozine. That's food, basically. That's science. For the Josian, the Ming. That's uh, influence more than anything else. Muggles. Industry, don't really care about that. The Ottomans. Heavy weapon industry and stuff, don't really care. The Ottomans, though, they can get uh, Janissaries. Look at that. They can actually get uh, weapons like that shoot f weapons uh, with powder and stuff. They can they get the uh, first uh, the first guns. The Spanish as well. Uh, Poles have a lot of districts and stability on districts. Um, these, the Spanish, they give us plus combat strength. And they give us like conquistadors, which basically... Have guns and all. That would be great. Edo Japanese. But oh, here's the thing. I'm not invading anybody. I'm just looking to uh, progress towards the modern era. Going uh, like I'm just looking to progress via not fighting. But peaceful. The peaceful way. You know. So influence per, uh, population. Would be great. Venetians. Oh yeah. Number of trade routes on city or outpost. Plus two money on na per naval trade route. Uh, that would be great as well. We got Ghanaians, which are we still we can still be them, but kind of want to change it up every time, boys. I don't know. The Spanish seems like a strong one, and the Ottomans as well, just because they've got the guns. We're gonna be the Spanish. I do. I am intrigued by these conquistadors. We are gonna need powder though, and iron. But um, I feel like. If we can get our resources, ourselves, the resources for that, it's going to be fantastic. So let's do that. Plus three combat strength as well. So adopt that. And just like that, we are going to be Spanish. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's be Spanish. Look at that. We're rocking this shit. Rocking the big time right here. Big. Uh, we're looking badass. It's a time of discovery and exploration. But discoveries are not made solely by traders and adventurers. Those who explore with ships and caravans would go in circles without those who explore with pens and parchment. We'll see for sure if we can do better than them. You can see our walls are expanding, getting much better. Much better protection and stuff and, and all that good stuff. Foreign outpost research as well. Uh, army lost at sea in the next turn. We gotta be careful about that. And uh, we also have the quadri rems now. We can build uh, quadri rems. Uh, we got a new wonder available, which I don't really care about wonders, boys. Uh, Nepala. Uh, Nepala, uh, sure, and Nak as well. So both guys gained the populace. Uh, over here oh, uh, for Kerma. What do we got? So we got an extra populace over here. Kerma, we want him to be put into the science department, obviously. Uh, now we can actually build these, though, the Cathedral Godiga, which is a wonder, boys. A wonder that gives us faith. I am not going to build it in this city. 
I'm actually going to build it uh, in my second strongest city. Uh, but Aldagast did get a population right here. Food all the way, but the problem is food. Look at that. Three food only that we're producing. I guess the next part then would be uh, going for... I, I can't really spend it anywhere. Let's let's just spend it into, you, uh, into the money-wise. And uh, I don't want to put him right here. Uh, we can get guns now. Spearmans as well. We can get the spearmans. We also have swordsmans. Uh, the swordsmans are looking different a little bit. Just because they're Spanish and all. Uh, but we can get chariots and all. The war elephants, of course. I still haven't really researched what I needed to research in order to get the guns though. So we're not quite there yet. It is a special unit that we can get. But it doesn't mean we uh, can get it right now. Because we haven't researched it. So let's see really quick. Theology. Feudalism. War summons. Which one of these do we want? This is going to give us crossbowmans. Pikemans. This is going to give us... A uh, horn guard, so it appears automatically to defend your city from attack. Oh, that's really good. Uh, crop rotation. Colony model. So create a city with a small package of infrastructure already built. Really, you can build yourself a colony. This is where it kind of comes in indie is comes in indie when you can uh, you get into different continents and all. Theology. Manuscript, Altelier, and Festivals. I'm gonna go for the Feudalism. Because we do wanna, like, eventually start... Uh, maybe looking for the uh, other cities, but outside of our realm, you know? So that's definitely something we can do. We wanna move this guy out of the... Out of the main sea, just so he's gonna be fine, you know? And we can actually upgrade these guys, these units. We can upgrade them. If we just bring them back into our tiles really quick, we can upgrade them, which I'm going to do. Uh, for you, right here, we are going to... We're going to see really quick. So, outposts, claim territory. Where do we want to do that? Where would be a good idea right here? So, that's 7, 4, 8, 4 right here. We got a 10, 6. Uh, so, 6, 10 right here. Uh, 9 right here of food. So, 9, 8. We want a, some, uh, a place where there's a lot of food. 10-5. That is something I don't know, boys. How is that supposed to be a grievance right there? Uh, we're not even near their borders. Uh, ar had an artisan. Definitely going to add that there. Boom. That, that, that's done. We're going to add an artisan's right here as well. We got plenty of influence points to use. And we're going to get uh, one right here. Boom. Just like that. Perfect. All right. So now... This outpost is really well connected. Uh, what we're gonna do right here in Nepada? We cannot connect. Oh, we want. Uh, we yeah. I can't. I can. So I'm gonna do that. Attach it. Boom. Just like that. So now it's attached. We gain two extra populace from that. We want to put them into one into science for sure. Now it's maxed out for science. Uh, let's put the other one into food now. All right. There we go. Just like that, boys. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm talking about right here. And um, I can't build anything else that's really that interesting. So I guess we're going to be fine right here. Uh, for the next part, if we go, because they do want to talk to us. I know the, uh, the uh, our neighbors want to talk to us. Oh, we do have some uh, some salt pet, uh, petters, which is for the gunpowder and all. Uh, this is something we definitely want. So that yeah, we need to connect. Uh, we need to get the outpost fast. So let's just go run into there fast. I'm just going to scout ahead really quick just to see where it would be the best option. Uh, where is the most amount of food right here? Where is uh, where is it at? Alright, I found it. It's right here. So, we're just going to move... Uh, we're going to move right right here. The next turn, we're going to be able to get ourselves an outpost uh, right here. This is going to be another outpost. We're going to connect it to this one right here. This city right here. Okay, and that's pretty much that. For uh, you, you do have another populace. And uh, you need food. So let me max you out in the uh, food department. We also want to work... That's right, I forgot. We wanted to work for Nepada especially. Kind of want to work on ourselves uh, uh, on Kala, the, the, the special district and all. That is something we want to do. What about Nak? It's got five population now. All right, boys. Well, my game crashed. Uh, not sure why, I guess the mods didn't work or something like that, and the game ended up crashing. 
Uh, it's okay because we got auto save, so I guess we're gonna end up doing is just end the video right here. Not uh, the video is long enough, anyways. So remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.